Joe, what's up, brother? What up? <laughs> what's up? The quickest join we had so far. Everyone's what's happening to be alive? There's always some technical difficulty with my my live. I never know what to expect. It's always like the Russian roulette. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, I felt like my internet wasn't working. Maybe it was the infamous live that you do. Man, I tell you what, um, the bandwidth. I was doing a, and I can only assume because there's like half a million people all on the same internet that I am. Right? Yeah, everybody's working from home now. Crazy. I wonder how they're gonna have to adapt that. Yeah, they're gonna have to increase the bandwidth. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I'm not a tech guy. Neither am I. That's a strong beard game you got going on tonight. Thanks, brother. Feels good. Yeah, I know. This is where so, all the holds right here. So I'm excited to have you on here. Candace has uh, talked up a good game about you and said that you are one incredible fella. And I'm excited to kind of have you. Thank you for joining. Maybe if you could just tell us kind of what you're going to lead us through tonight. You're going to do a heart meditation. I like that. And um, just kind of talk a little bit about that and who you are and how people can find you and yada yada. Yeah, my name is Joe Hawley. I played football in the NFL for eight years. I retired in 2017. Uh, when I retired, I kind of wanted to, to explore my freedom for the first time. I played football for 16 years total, and it was my first time ever having time off. So I gave away all my possessions to charity, bought a van, and traveled the country for a little over a year and a half, um, exploring my freedom, learning about who I was without football. And I've been on this journey of self, self-healing self ever since. I've um, been sharing my story and my journey on Instagram and other social platforms. Um, through my blog, Man Van Dog Blog, and I'm currently transitioning that into more of a personal brand, doing motivational speaking, and working on a book right now. Um, yeah, and I, re- I really got into meditation during during football because um, I was really worried about and trying to be proactive about the brain trauma. And that's kind of how I got involved in it, and it's led into so many profound. Um, you know, experiences and now my meditation practice is something that is like one of the most important tools that I have on a daily basis. And I really appreciate you having me to do this. This is awesome. So basically you're saying you have a lot of free time on your hands. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I make my free time, right? <laughs> no, you rattled off like 18 things you have going on, writing a book, doing a blog, doing all this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. You're my kind of guy. So I'd also like to announce for everyone that's joining, um, you're going to be speaking on Monday at our virtual summit, which I'm super stoked about. We had, I don't know if you've tuned in to any one of them yet, but we had a doctor from California today that just kind of rattled our minds on his his thoughts around it. And then Dave took us through some financial pieces, which always rattles my mind. And then on Monday, you're going to take us through a whole bunch of different things, uh, motivational kind of mantras and, and speeches and that sort of stuff. Is that kind of good? Yeah, I think I'm going to share a bit about some of my daily practices, including meditation, journaling, um, you know, my yoga practice, things that can really, you can use to calm yourself in these uneasy times when fear comes up or anxiety or uncertainty. Uh, We have a lot of time and space in our homes at the moment, and sometimes, uh, you know, these these feelings come up and they're kind of hard to process. The feelings that we might usually like go outside and, and maybe maybe numb out by doing something and we're forced to kind of sit with them. So, you know, I'm going to provide tools to really dive deep and process um, some of those emotions that are coming up and, and kind of see where they're coming from and analyze them a more. Man, that's brilliant. Uh, um, if, if there's anything I've learned over the last few years, um, it's that we kind of can be our own worst enemies, right? We, if we let our mind take control of everything, and it's just it starts leading us down all these different rabbit holes. And if we don't have if we don't have some sort of method to to calm that down, like you just were referencing and going to talk about on Monday, I mean, it can just lead you into all sorts of trouble. So I'm looking forward to hearing. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. I'm really excited. Yeah, so um, it's nine o'clock. I'm going to ring the little uh, singing bowl here in a minute, and um, you, we're gonna, you're going to take us through one minute of our our uh, our nightly silent meditation and then right after that if people would like to stay which i hope they do you'll take us through your heart meditation for five minutes or so and i'll just kind of chime the bell as we go on great so second second chime is when i take over after the minute that's right (laughs) i just i just like to chime you have i'm like candace i like to play the drum (laughs) all right man here we go thank you again and thank you for everyone for joining
Amazing. Um, you can stay where you're at. We're gonna take a few deep breaths together and bring awareness into our bodies. Go ahead and take a deep breath into your nose. Now through your mouth. Again, into your nose. Now through your mouth. We'll do one more together into your nose. Now through your mouth. Allow your breath to normalize. Bring awareness to your body. Wherever you're sitting now, sit straight. I want you to feel the earth beneath your feet. Mother Gaia, nature, this big rock that we get to live on. I want you to feel roots coming up from earth, visualizing them coming up through the soles of your feet, up through your calves, up through your knees, into your thighs, up through your hips, and bring awareness to them as they up through your belly and into your heart space. And as they grow into your heart, you start to feel the connection to Mother Earth and Mother, Mother Earth's heartbeat. And as you feel Mother Earth's heartbeat, you feel your heartbeat matching the rhythm of the Earth. It starts to beat with the Earth. You feel grounded and supported. Now I want you to visualize the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Feel the heartbeat in the center of the universe. I want you to visualize a bright light shining down through your crown, through your head, through your neck. And this bright light makes its way into your heart space as well. You feel your heartbeat matching the heartbeat of the universe. That central energy vortex of the Milky Way galaxy. And your heart starts to beat with the, with the rhythm of both Mother Earth and the universe. And in this moment, you feel so connected to this present moment. You feel this loving life force energy within your heart. And you come to the realization and the beautiful thing is you don't have to do anything to, to have this heartbeat it has been gifted to you. It beats loving life force energy throughout your body. Anytime fear comes up, anytime anxiety comes up during these uncertain times, try and find the beat of your heart and connect with the fact that it's such a gift that there's nothing you have to do to make this heart beat. It just does it automatically. And connect to gratitude for that. Let's take one more deep breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Thanks for joining me. Mm. Thank you, Joe. That was fantastic, brilliant. Yeah, man. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, man. We'll see you on Monday. I'm going to try to get through that questionnaire you filled out. Thanks for setting me straight on, on the bill. I was just, whoa. Well, I, I, I like to be prepared. I, I like to get on the podcast and know what I'm talking about. So I just sit there and nod my head like a like one of those uh, nod, what do they call those, uh, bottlehead dolls. So yeah, I like to overabundance the questions just so I have lots of information. I respect it, man. I respect it. Uh, the, the, I respect you taking the taking the constructive feedback as well. Absolutely. So we'll see you on Monday. Um, you'll get another email from Amelia or somebody on our side. Uh, we try to do a quick visual test on Sunday, just to make sure we got everything squared away. And then it takes five minutes, and then we'll see you on Monday. Looking forward to it, brother. <laughs>